Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to tell you about this lovely 2016 Infinity Q50 Sport all-wheel drive that we have for sale. We took this one in on trade uh, for an Infinity uh, Q50 Red Sport 400. It is uh, similar to this vehicle, but it's the top of the line uh, high performance version with 400 horsepower uh, versus a paltry 300 horsepower in this one. But I'm just kidding about the paltry part. This car is actually pretty fast with 300 horsepower. The customer liked it, he just wanted that extra 100 horsepower. I can't blame him, but I think for a lot of people with 300 horsepower, this is probably plenty fast. It's really quick. Uh, so luckily for you, we have this beautiful Clean Carfax example, uh, serviced and checked by our Infinity Certified Techs. 38,297 miles at the time of making this video. Uh, it's beautiful shape inside and out. Really nice color combination in silver on graphite leather. And with the sport package, it's definitely a performance sedan. Uh, so we have a nice uh, drive mode selector here that will make changes to transmission shift points, a throttle sensitivity, traction stability control settings. Then we notice that we'll have a dual display system here. The Q50 is actually the first vehicle to have a dual display system of, of this kind. Uh, the top screen is for uh, the navigation system, the parking camera. The bottom screen is a tablet-like interfa interface for vehicle settings and apps. Uh, you can control your heated seats, heated steering wheel here. You can also make changes to the climate control settings. There's dual zone climate control. Then we have some other screens. We have apps that you can download. And you can also control the drive mode selector here. Uh, you can personalize it a little bit more. You can have the engine and transmission like in the standard mode, but maybe like the way the steering is in the sport mode, you can personalize it that way. This one has a uh, digital dynamic suspension, uh, so you can uh, put it in standard or sport mode. Active trace control will break the individual wheels to help the vehicle rotate through the corners a little bit better. You can shut that system on or off. With the sport package, you have a little bit extra bolstering in the seats to hold you in place during performance driving. You also uh, get steering wheel paddle shifters with the sport package, so you can take control of those 7-4 gears. In manual shift mode, you get rev match downshifts for a, for a uh, sportier sound and feel. We also have a moonroof on this one, automatic dimming mirror of universal garage door opener. Uh, Bose sound system. The sport package also gives you aluminum pedals. Also with the sport package you have larger brakes and you have a more aggressive and larger wheel and tire package. This Q50 looks beautiful in silver, tinted windows. The Q50 is built on a balanced uh, uh, rear-wheel drive platform. Uh, but this one actually has intelligent all-wheel drive, so it's rear-wheel drive biased all-wheel drive system. So that means uh, when all-wheel drive is not needed, it'll be 100% of the power to the rear wheels. And it can send up to 50% of the vehicle's power almost instantly uh, in low traction situations. Also, has a, I have a nice little uh, trunk-mounted spoiler. It's built on the advanced front midship platform. They take the engine and they place it as far back behind the front axle as possible so the center of gravity is towards the middle of the vehicle. That helps it rotate on its axis and uh, handle through the corners a little bit better. The heart of the Q50, we have this VR30 twin turbo engine. In fact, 2016 is the first year of this new direct injection twin turbo engine replacing the aging uh, 3.7 liter V6. 300 horsepower, direct injection, very smooth, very seamless power. Also, the sport package, you have a little bit more of an aggressive looking front fascia. Uh, Bi xenon lights provide outstanding nighttime visibility. Uh, you have the Atessa all wheel drive system, which stands for Advanced Total Traction, uh, Advanced Total Traction Engineering System with electronic split. Uh, this is a racing inspired all wheel drive system. Originally, it was found in an older version of the Nissan Skyline GTR. Uh, we've been using this all wheel drive system in the Infinity products since the early 2000s. We saw it in uh, the FX35, FX45, and we saw it in the G35 all wheel drive sedan. And they've been making improvements to this all-wheel drive system, but it's a great system. Um, I've been with Infinity 16 years. I don't think I could ever recall 
seeing one of these systems go bad where they have to replace an all-wheel drive system so really is an amazing system and it's a performance all-wheel drive system so not only does it improve your uh, your traction and wet slippery conditions and improves your traction in the snow but it'll also improve your performance uh, the all-wheel drive system uh, will help pull you out of the corner so you can get in the power a little bit earlier when you're doing aggressive driving in the corners and the all-wheel drive system will really give you a, a rush when it uh, pulls you out of that corner um, and then uh, it will also allow you to enjoy performance driving all year round. Obviously the roads are wet and slippery for a good amount of our lives here in the Pacific Northwest. So that all-wheel drive system will put that 300 horsepower to the ground a lot more efficiently than just a rear-wheel drive version uh, in wet slippery conditions. So if you are looking for a nice Japanese-made performance luxury sedan, uh, twin turbo, all-wheel drive, made in Japan, this is an amazing package. Come in, take it for a spin. I think you'll be very impressed, and thanks for taking the time today to watch this video.